point where I feel like I know enough to do questions, that's when I'll do questions because that's the objective and I want to meet the outcome. Fine. Is that the purpose of doing questions though? The answer is not really no. The purpose of doing questions is to learn, to understand what types of things are going to be expected from you, to measure improvement. Measure improvement. This is not the same as am I ready to pass. If you're moving from 20 to 30%, that's an improvement, but you won't feel that improvement. You're not going to feel that improvement because it's not a pass yet and your objective is to pass. So if you genuinely went into that question with my objective is to assess whether or not I have improved at all, and you move from 20% from the last question to 30% from this question, the objective has been met. Because the objective was not, I must pass this question. The objective was not, do I know enough to pass? The objective was, have I improved at all? Yes, I have improved, the objective meets outcome. If your objective for doing the question is, I want to understand the types of things that are going to be expected from me, and you do the question, and you come out of that question going, oh, that's what they wanted. That's what they want me to be able to do. They want me to be able to discuss this or criticize that or recommend this. They want me to be able to use this in this way. Okay, okay, that's what they want from me. If you come out of that question with that understanding, your objective has been met. I need to understand what they want from me. And now I do have a better idea of what they want from me. Objective met. If you go into the question going, I want to expose myself to more different situations so that I can learn how this one piece of information can be used in different ways. And you come out of that question going, okay, yeah, that's the same piece of knowledge that I used in a different question yesterday, but wow, this one was quite different. They asked it in a different way. They used it for a different industry. And look how differently it comes out. Your objective has been met. My objective, explore different ways that the same knowledge is used. The outcome I can see how this knowledge is used differently in a different area. I've made different connections, objective achieved. The difference between this and saying my objective is do I know enough to pass questions? For most of your study time, the answer is going to be objective not met, objective not met, objective not met, which is increasingly frustrating. But you're going into it with the wrong idea. It's like going into a lecture going, my objective here is to make sure that I already know what my lecture is going to say. The lecture is going to be terrible because you don't know what the lecture is going to say. You don't know what it is because that's why you're there. So if you went into that class with the objective of, I must know what the lecturer is going to say before they say it, obviously you're going to come out of that class with a sense of horror and frustration and helplessness because my objective wasn't met. If you go into that class with the idea of, I don't really know what's going on here and the objective of this class is to help me understand more, then the objective will be met. You come out of the class, do you kind of have a better idea of what's going on than you did when you went in? Great, objective met. It's the same thing.